Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 7th, 2018. So interesting price action yesterday. If you remember yesterday, I, I mentioned um, it was going to be really, really important um, to watch the support levels, and I and I mentioned the fact that. Um, if, if the bulls couldn't really get it going, if things couldn't really get going, stay focused on the NASDAQ. And that attack in NASDAQ really did occur. We, we started off good for the day, and then we immediately had this whipsaw that was pretty nasty little whipsaw. If we take a look at a short-term chart here on um, the diamonds, you can see yesterday morning we started up sharply and then quickly reversed it to a new low. Um, and then we just kind of whipped around um, the day, rallying back up with the Dow really almost as if there was a plunge protection team at work trying to make sure that Dow did not fall. Um, but they held on to this trend. That's a good thing. And we were also holding above this March um, support level here. So that's going to be really, really important that we hold on in this area. Now you can see the Dow um, still has a significant ways to go before we get to a, a record high or a breakout high. So holding in here, if we want to have a shot at moving higher, that's going to be extremely important. Now I'm going to kind of jump and change here just a little bit of what I normally do, but on the economic calendar, we have a a big deal going on here on the economic calendar today. First off, that employment situation report, which comes out an hour before the market opens, that's going to be kind of critical because currently futures are pointing to a lower open. We had a mixed to mostly lower Asian markets last night, and European markets are currently lower across the board. So our futures are pointing lower, but we are expecting a pretty darn strong employment situation report number today with um, our employment rate actually ticking even lower uh, unemployment rate um, to a, a, a new low, which is kind of an interesting thing to see, to see that kind of strength in labor. Also, wage growth is expected in this report. Now, that means that the market could respond very, very bullishly to that number. We could also see some concern that the market is kind of overheating here and uh, the potential threat of increased interest rates on the way as a result. And that could put a dour um, appearance on this um, report. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, we also have the, um, the real threat of... Um, $200 billion in tariffs being levied against um, China. The president has threatened that, and it is certainly open for that potential uh, to occur. So please keep in mind, we, we could go both ways here, and it's a little bit of a challenging market right now. So what I recommended in the morning note, which by the way, if you've never had a chance to read my morning note, um, please um, check the description of the video. It's always in the description of the video, a link back to the morning note. Now, um, we what I mentioned is that we're going to have to be uh, focused and flexible. And that means we want to set aside our bias today, I think, because we're, we're kind of setting at some critical price levels. Here we are at the diamonds, the diamonds being the strongest right now, holding up above this key support level here in the in the Dow. If we take a look at the SPY, however, the SPY came down and came really, really close, testing that all-time high breakout. And at the end of the day yesterday, held that, but notice we're gapping down this morning, back down toward that area. It's going to be critical that we hold this level of support. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues gave up that support yesterday, that breakout high, and had some significant selling going on. And again, you can see um, right now the futures are pointing to um, that with a lower open. So we need that employment situation report 
to really spark something here in the bulls to hold on to these support levels. So we're really at that at that decision point in the market where we could go one way or the other. And that's why I say I think we need to be very focused and very flexible today and be willing to set aside our bias and trade what we see in the charts because this could go either way. Also keep in mind, when we're around key support levels and key resistance levels, we always want to watch for the potential of those head fakes and those whipsaws. And we've been getting those whipsaws here the last few days where we whip around quite a bit um, intraday, giving us um, kind of, well, signals we could go long or short and then it, it quickly reverses. So watch that closely. Also, if we take a look at IWM, IWM is parked right there at that support level. And you can see this morning, um, the slight gap down this morning, right there to that breakout level. So we're really at that critical decision point. Will the bulls find inspiration here? Or will the bears find inspiration here? Now, as we head into the weekend, you have to consider if that tariff thing doesn't come out today, we also have to consider it could come out this weekend. And if that were to occur, um, that obviously could have dramatic effects on the market Monday morning. So please plan and consider the risk that you're taking forward into the weekend, making sure that, uh, you know, if you have some profits, maybe take some profits and reduce risk. That's what I will be doing today, looking to take some profits that I have, reducing risk as we head into the weekend. Um, just so I can um, avoid that exposure. You know, it's always better, always better to take a small profit than it is to take that loss. So it, maybe a trade didn't work out and give you as much money as you was hoping that it would, but it's always better to take a profit rather than a loss and kind of consider that as you we move into this weekend with the threat of those tariffs. So with that, everyone, just be very flexible. Be very focused on price action. Anything I think is possible. We could see those bulls find that inspiration and really take off and bounce off of these support levels. And that'd be awesome. That's exactly what we want to see. But if those bears happen to take inspiration, we could quickly break through these support levels to the downside and that could trigger some pretty quick selling. All right, so watch that closely. If we take a look at the VIX, you can see I've been mentioning the last few days uh, the VIX and this inverted head and shoulders pattern here in the VIX. And as you can see, the VIX has been creeping to the upside. A little bit of fear creeping here into the market. So far at this point, we're not um, in real trouble here. We need to hold this resistance level somewhere between here and here. If we can hold up in this area and not allow the fear to creep up past that, we're probably going to be okay. However, if we start failing supports, we could easily see that fear really begin to spike up. So watch that closely. And so far this head and shoulders pattern is really developed and uh, the potential here um, should give everyone just a little bit of pause as we see that fear creeping into the market. Let's hope those bulls find that inspiration in an employment situation report and this drops back down here to these levels. Okay, let's take a look at T21. 22. T21.22, that four-week um, four, uh, new high, new low ratio. Plot that with a simple line chart. And you can see yesterday we did push down here a little bit lower, giving us that, that look. Um, at least we broke past that 50% point. Okay, so we're at a position where we have plenty of room for upside move. We still have considerable room for downside move. So watch watch that carefully we don't have a real good indicator here as to which way we're going to go just that uh, we have plenty of potential on both sides so once again kind of be prepared and flexible for about anything to occur let's take um we already took a look at that economic calendar um 
But on that economic calendar, besides that employment situation number, just note that we have several Fed speakers today, um, quarterly survey, Baker Hughes, rig count, and treasury strips. Um, on the earnings calendar today, we don't have much going on. 13 companies reporting earnings, and really none of those companies would be particularly notable unless you happen to own one of them. So make sure you're checking those earnings reports on a regular basis and watching uh, and, and preparing, planning your day around um, those stocks that you may hold or planning to buy that are uh, coming up for a report. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more than that, I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly, truly appreciate that. You guys are so have been so kind, and I truly appreciate that. And um, always feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Everyone have an awesome day. I wish you great profits. Have a great weekend. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.